battery. There it goes again. I got about three, three sequences for you. What does that mean? I'm gonna send you three videos. Oh, okay, yeah. One of them has a little gap. I don't know what happened to this one, but it, no it wasn't long. Well, and that, that's the thing with these two, it's sometimes an hour, that's a long time for something. That was to pretty darn close. Good, well, I like that. Okay, the one before it was about 30 minutes or so. Okay. So if we have that left, what we can do, we can wrap this up if you want. Sure. And uh, let me get this peeled off first and we'll start filming uh, for another few minutes. See any other blue tape. There we go. This is also the place where, oh, tore it. Did it too quick, careless. Uh, is there a piece up in the shack? Oh yeah, here we go. Good eye. Wow, really good eye. Jeez, what is that? Oh, it's part of the pier. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so now all the tape is removed. Okay, yeah, so uh, at incredible. this point, are we recording? Yeah, we are. Okay, oh. so uh, at this point, all the blue tape is gone. And once this is dry, I can go back in and retape areas. Like if I decide I want another wave, I, if I want my water really dark blue, mm -hmm. um, I can do that. I can make it as deep a color as I want uh, and have things run through it, for example. So, say in here. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. And what I'll do, just because I can show off, is we'll just take this down deep. Hence the drop cloth. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is how I did the large painting that I put up on my Facebook page to get right. everybody here, to, to get them interested. And I'll do stuff like that just to give it some more interest. So that creates, I mean, that really is as far as I'm going to take it. That will create a lot of, um, of color push. And sometimes I'll take this and I'll tilt it at an angle to slow that up a little bit. I can really pound the color. The one that's on the Facebook page, the square one that I gave the example of, it's about 20 layers of this over and over and over again. This is just the initial glaze. This is the first glaze. So we're not even... Close. How many glazes will you put on, do you think? 15 to 20. Depending on what I want, you know, there's some, it's actually impasto. You don't, you can't do impasto with watercolor. We'll get a little bit of it going there. Right, it's right. nice and thick, right? Um, as opposed to, look how wonderful But then when you re-wet it, it's going to go. Yeah, It's it going to go a whole new color. But I like the fact that it's 3D. I've even taken uh, paint tubes and started like I'll put a big thing of paint and then wet that and just let it run. I mean, I have fun with this stuff. Yeah. Same thing like these drips, I'll put something here and I'll let it drip up there because I'm designing by balance, okay? That's so that's fabulous. I can't wait to see the final piece. Are you gonna show it, show it to us? On, on your yeah, video? like I say, I'll take a step along the way every time uh -huh. just in still. And then when it's finished, I'll share the final as well. I'll, I'll put like a watercolor steps thing on my hmm. Facebook page for you guys that do Facebook. And uh, I'll try and, if I figure out how to use uh, YouTube uh, Studio as well as I should, um, I'll strip this video together with the stills so you get the whole shot. Well, I can't thank you enough. Thanks. This has been Chuck.